to be for distribution. And we promise that what we are doing here are going to be exactly as expected. Not, I mean, any number is not enough. As and when we get a patient, we, we use some them. So we are more grateful for this donation. And then we believe we continue the, the partnership. And then as we grow, we will also benefit in time. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, yes uh, for Isma, our main focus is to provide free surgery for children who are born with cleft lip and cleft palate. You know, somewhere in the world, every three minutes, a child is born with cleft lip or cleft palate. And so these children are amongst us and they suffer a lot of stigma. So our main aim is to work on these children. But then the Volta Regional Hospital has been a partner in our efforts. So they cooperate with us to provide uh, this uh, free surgery uh, regularly. It's only been doing for the past several years. And uh, this year, because of the COVID crisis, so we've had to put some of the programs on hold. But then we thought that instead of locking up resources, waiting for this thing to be over, we were thinking of what we can do to support, uh, you know, the hospital to provide ongoing care because there are a lot of. I mean, this COVID has put a lot of strain on uh, various health facilities, and you need all these monitors and things to look after the COVID patients, and then also the regular patients who need to see those. I mean, who. Uh, assess our facilities. So, as a Pochisma, we sat down and then we organized uh, some of this equipment. So, we have eight patient monitors, which are very, very important in improving the quality of care we give to patients. So, they monitor the patient's blood pressure, the pulse, things like that, which will help you to see the state whether the patient is doing well or not doing so well. And uh, we have eight of them. And then we also got them some uh, PPEs. Now, some PPEs, they are now in such a community, you know, and uh, if you have just one patient with COVID looking after them, you still go through a lot of these. And, you know, I don't think any hospital can get the phone where they say they have more, they have enough. So we got them, uh, you know, PPEs, gloves, face masks, uh, you know, face shields and other, 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 uh, you know, uh, protective equipment for the staff. Uh, has the pandemic affected the number of cases you are tend to as people who work with the cluster. Yeah, so because of the nature of the way we, we, we do most of these cases on outreach basis. And so if you note the, uh, what we call elective, the cleft surgery is not an emergency operation. Okay. It's a things that you do with planning, you do them. So for most hospitals, they, because of the demand and the need for social distancing and other uh, things that have come to, to force because of this COVID crisis, most uh, institutions are not offering elective surgery. They are mostly doing emergencies and very urgent cases. So uh, we've had to put some of our programs on hold for some time now. But we thought that we mobilize our resources to do our programs. But if uh, we are delaying the programs and there's an urgent need, we can't you know, keep them. And whilst there, I mean, there's a pressing need. So we thought that let's redistribute the resources and let's, you know, support the fight against COVID-19, and then uh, in the future we can, you know, we, when 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 things become normalized, we can then resume our programs. So that that that's the plan.